To replace a variable cam in the feed rate assembly, first we'll need to remove the tube housing assembly. You do that by grasping the tube housing assembly and turning it clockwise to release it from the pins and it will come out with the shaft. To remove the feed rate assembly, you follow the same step by turning it in a clockwise direction to remove it from the motor housing. To access the variable cam, remove the three screws on the back of the feed rate housing. Next you can remove the adjustable ring the index pin and cam follower and then finally remove the adjustable cam. If you're replacing the index plate you can simply do so by removing it or simply flipping it over for an extended life until you replace with a new one. Take your new feed rate cam with the 90 degree bend pointing upwards. This is your insertion point for the cam. Place your finger over it and insert the cam into the slot keeping it down and flush inside of the groove. Push the cam around and feeding it around until you come back to the start point leaving about a quarter inch to a half inch gap which will allow for the cam follower to sit in. You'll now take the adjustable feed rate outer ring. There's one hole which will go on to the feed rate cam. Insert into the feed rate ring and slowly push down and turn counter and turn clockwise until the feed ring fits snugly onto the bridge on the feed housing assembly. To install the cover, the arrow should go at the 12 o'clock position and the screws retightened. Once you've done that, install back onto the pump, you will follow the steps you did to take it off, only in reverse. Turning it in a counterclockwise rotation, 